Hello everyone again, this is uh, Warren Fulcher, I've been, I had uploaded an old uh, video a long time ago with very little, very poor lighting conditions, but uh, my centrifugal clutch, well, this is my new one, it's a lot, little bit thinner, I uh, still have a few improvements to make to it, but uh, it works for the most part, I've got it hooked up to an XL motor, geared down, uh, still not quite fast enough to engage it, but it does good. Uh, I've, for this purpose, for the purpose of the fact that it, uh, the XL motor and the gearing does not uh, produce quite the right amount of RPMs. I have n excluded the actual bands that would pr uh, add grip as well as uh, provide the uh, tension to prevent it from uh, engaging ahead of time. Uh, so let's show you the new version. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have gotten rid of those bulky uh, external pieces, so it's all built into this bell housing. Uh, so actually now it can handle just about any RPM. Uh, in this little housing right here, I don't like it. Uh, normally this would be a lot more stable, but for uh, quick uh, reference, uh, it's just that's what I'm going to use. So. Uh, as you can see, I can move it without turning the engine, and I can turn, or the motor, it's going to be going in between an LPE engine and my transmission, like in my clutch. And as you can see, I can move the motor without actually engaging the uh, other side unless I hit a certain RPM or the clutch shoes engage. Uh, so, let's try to get and see if I can get this thing uh, working. Uh, give me just a second. Uh, there we go. Uh, I just bolted it onto the car where my manual clutch is right there, uh, which y'all saw in a previous video. But here is the centrifugal clutch, uh, as you can see. Very simple. Uh, still has a few improvements I'd like to make to it, but for right now this will work. Let me go ahead and get it started. Well, let's go the other way, because that's the way I've got this set up for the clutch shoes to engage. As you can see, gear down, it's moving, and what I can do is just grab this, and as you can see, it's got a little bit of torque to it, even without the rubber band. So when you give it a more RPM, which a lot of the LP engines will get put out with the torque, it'll handle it, and once you've got the bands in there, it'll be golden. And as you can see, I can just stop it and turn it the opposite way, and sometimes it'll lock in, and sometimes it will let it go. So. And then I can stop, and it's as you saw, it was still spinning. Let's go the other direction. The other direction is has the clutch shoes in the opposite direction, where they won't necessarily engage unless they're really high RPM or the belt's in, but it'll still let you go in reverse if you do decide to add that function. Uh, not quite as much torque on the shaft, but it still will uh, move your creation if you so desire. And as you can see, I can spin it backwards, forwards, whichever way I want to. So even if you're, uh, th again, this is good for LPE engines, because if you're running something off the engine and you don't quite want to run your engine, uh, run your car, this will work. Or if you've got an automatic transmission, this will allow your uh, transmission to shift gears, hopefully a little bit smoother. Um, I'm still in the testing phases for that. I haven't got quite something that will put up the RPM to really move my transmission so I'm still working on it but uh for the most part this uh this will handle any rpm and any amount of torque you can put through it um uh, I'm going to work on strengthening it a little bit without but hopefully without modifying things so uh there you have it uh let's see about taking this thing apart uh I will upload a second video to show you this thank you very much for watching uh look for part two here in a few moments